there! I got this great question that asks, how do we help create an environment for mason bees? So let's answer that right now. So there are three main components to think about. The first one is the nest. So Mama Mason Bee is a solitary bee. She doesn't live in a hive and she's looking for tubular cavities to make her nest. To help her with this, you can buy a mason bee house, you can drill holes in wood, or you can just leave dead logs around. Beetle larvae dig tunnels in dead wood and mason bees will use those tunnels for a nest. The second component is food. Mama mason bees need pollen and nectar to feed themselves and their babies. Having a plentiful supply of a diversity of flowers is what you want to provide them during their active season from March to about June. This means early blooming flowers. Native flowering plants are my favorite. This will depend on where you live, but where I am here in the Pacific Northwest, we're talking stuff like Oregon grape, red flowering currant, and service berry, among others. But fruit trees also work really well, like apple, pear, plum, and cherry. And you get the extra benefit of their very above average pollinating abilities, which gives you more fruit. And finally, the third component, mud. You wanna make sure you have a good supply of mud nearby. Mama Mason Bee has to carry that mud all the way back to her nest. So she can't fly that far. That's a lot of hard work. She uses that mud to make walls in between each leg she lays and to plug up the end of the tube. Hence the name Mason Bee. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of mud. She needs clay, the slick stuff, nothing too sandy or organic. You know, mud, the kind that sticks together. What you can do for her is dig a hole in the ground and fill it maybe about halfway with water and that way she can choose the perfect moisture level of the mud she needs. It's super exciting to see mason bees go in and out of the nest and to see those tubes get filled up with mud. At this point, you have two options. You can do nothing else and let nature take its course, or you can go the extra step of bringing them inside to protect them from predators. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a video about that. And follow along for more native habitat stuff.